Hello everyone, this is Lexicon Architect, and for today's commander, we're going to be looking at Bauru Worm Speaker, which is a 4 mana green creature that pumps our worms, it gives them plus 2, plus 2, and have trample, and then um, you can create a 4-4 four, four green worm creature token, and this ability will cost X less to activate, where X is the greatest power among worms you control. Like I said in my short, let's say you have a 7-7 seven, seven worm, you can tap this for one green and create a worm token. So let's get into the creature package. We're going to be playing a ton of big worms. Uh, we play Beanstalk Worm because it allows us to get a land and uh, um, play an additional land, and it has reach. Beast Whisperer helps us draw cards. Uh, Bellowing Tang Worm gives our creatures Intimidate. Um, then we have a bunch of worms that when they ETB, they draw us a card and gain us life. Uh, we play... Uh, several different uh, one-drop elves allow, that allow us to ramp. We play Kamarmetra's um, Acolyte to uh, generate a ton of green mana based on our devotion. We also have another elf uh, ramp card in Land War Tribe, so it's a three mana spell that we can tap it to give us three mana. Then we play cards like Surik and Gorklaw to um, give our creatures Trample, which they already do with our commander, but still... But uh, whenever a non-token enters the battlefield under our control, we put a 1-1 counter on it, it gains haste. And then we have cards like um, Seaborn Muse that will allow us to untap all permanents we control uh, during each other player's untap step. So this allows us to continuously use over and over our, our bearer room speaker ability. Um, as far as sorceries go, we're going to be playing a bunch of ramp spells as Cultivate, Explore, Kodama's Reach, Nature's Lord, Nisa's Pilgrimage, Rampant Growth, Search for Tomorrow, uh, Sky, Sky Scrout Shame, uh, Claim, sorry, Three Visits, and then we have Draw, Spell, and Harmonize, and Shamanic Revelation. And the Shamanic Revelation is very good for us because we draw a card for each creature we control. Plus, since all of our creatures are most likely going to have power four or greater, we'll gain four life for each one. Then, for instance, we're going to be playing some removal at Beast Within, Cosmic Hunger, um, and then uh, Prize Fight to fight a creature and then create a treasure, uh, ramp through to remove a uh, problemsome creature and deal excess damage uh, to its opponent if that creature had trample. Then we have Return to Nature and Nature's Claim to destroy um, artifacts or enchantments. And then we play Entus Restoration Her and Harrow and um to uh allow us to get more lands heroic intervention protects our board and momentous fall allows us to draw cards and gain a bunch of life equal to the creature's toughness as far as artifacts we're going to be playing arcane signet moss diamond nick lotus uh for the um mana that it can generate for our devotion to green soul ring thran dynamo and Van uh, vanisher vanquisher's banner to choose a creature type, those creatures get plus one, plus one. And every cast a creature spell of the chosen type, we draw a card. So this is extremely good for all of our worms. As far as enchantments go, we're going to be playing Beast Master's Ascension. Because uh, whenever we attack with a tree creature, we put a quest counter on it. And then as long as it has seven or more quest counters, all of our creatures will get plus five, plus five. Then we play um, Colossal Majesty. Uh, at the beginning of our upkeep, if we control a creature power for a greater draw a card, Elemental Bond, a uh, similar ability that draws us cards, Fight Rigging allows us to hide away 5 and put a 1-1 one -one counter onto our creature we control at the beginning of combat um, on our turn, and then if we control a creature with power 7 or greater, we can play the card underneath it for free, Garrett's Uprising to draw us cards, Sandworm Convergence uh, to disallow um, people to attack you with uh, creatures with flying, and then we generate a warm token at the beginning of our end step. Seldom Anthem is a solid two drop Anthem card to give our creatures plus one plus one. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under our control, if it is green, we get to scry one. Tribute of the World Tree either allows us to put counters on things or draw cards. And then Up the Beanstalk allows us to draw cards uh, when it enters. And then whenever we cast a spell with uh, mana value five or greater, we draw a card. As far as lands, we only have we have three utility lands in Castle Garen Break. We can tap four to add six mana, but we can only spend it on creatures or uh, to activate abilities of creatures. Mosswork Bridge to hide away um, four. 
and then you can pay one green and exile the card as long as you control creatures that have power to uh, total of 10 or greater and then the war room to draw us cards and that's the deck in a nutshell as you can see we curve out at three um, and this deck is going to cost you $179. So I hope you enjoyed this deck tech. It will be uploaded shortly to YouTube and TikTok. And I hope you have a great day.